Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalms 106 says, Praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praises? Hallelujah. And then Psalms 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles, glory to God. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious. He's slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. Glory to God. We give him high praise. Hallelujah. We exhort his holy name. Remember our subject for this month is the God who forgives. Glory to God. He is so good and he is so merciful unto us. All we have to do is just confess our sins, love one another, and God is just to forgive us. I, I love this scripture in James 5.16. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It says the key word in that scripture is confess and pray. And that this word is full of God, it's full of scripture, it's full of Passion is full of reverence and is, and is full of humility, glory to God. Spiritual maturity prayers should expose spiritual poverty. James tells us two things about the man of prayer. He says he is a righteous man. And so how would we understand a righteous man? There are a number of ways to understand a righteous man. First, he is recognized because he is living right. Now, it does not mean that he's a perfect, blameless man because there's only one that is perfect and blameless, and that's God. But in the book of James, he reminds of, us of Elijah. We know from, from reading the Bible, from studying the Bible, that there, there was a time when the prophet Elijah imperfections were revealed, but he lived as a straight and just man of God. Hallelujah. We can all attest and, and, and can all acknowledge that bad living makes bad praying. The streams of praying cannot rise higher than the fountains of living. We cannot, we cannot talk to God strongly if we have not lived for God strongly. We cannot beseech God if we have not been beseeching men. We cannot ask God to forgive us of our sins if we do not forgive those who have sinned against us. Glory to God. Our conduct gives value to our praying. Hallelujah. And our misconduct destroys the fabric of our devotion. So the, the second thing of understanding a righteous man is it has reference in his dealings with God. A son honors his father, and a servant honors his master. Amen. The word of God says in Luke 20, 6, 27, But I say unto you, which, which hear, love your enemies, and do good to them which hate you. And in Galatians 3, 13, it says, Forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye glory to God. Then in Psalms 103, verses 10, 10 through 14, it says, He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Hallelujah. For he knoweth our frame, glory to God, and he remembered that we are dust. Mm. Glory to God. We thank him for his word that leads us to all truth. Glory to God. So the question, the question is, how much does God forgive us? Glory to God. Well, first of all, we know that we all have sinned. Isaiah 53, 6 says, all, all we lack sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone into his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of, of, the iniquity of us all. Romans 3, 20, 23 says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's important, glory to God, that we recognize our sin, acknowledging it and feeling bad 
about it gives us encouragement for several reasons. You see, a lot of people sin, and they don't think there's nothing wrong with it, or they, that, or they don't acknowledge it. But we know that we are wrong whether we acknowledge it or not, because God has opened our eyes to, to sin, how destructive sin can be in our lives. But God does not want us to live with the guilt. He wants us to know, and he wants us to fully experience his forgiveness. He is a mighty, awesome, passionate God. But, but listen to this. God, God does not simply overlook our sin and say that we are forgiven. But, but he, he sees our sin but is ready to forgive us because Jesus fully took our sin on himself, and he paid for our sin by his death on the cross. Our sin is very serious. It caused Jesus incredible suffering. It caused him incredible pain. But from the very moment, glory to God, mm, this is how good God is, from the very moment, that we receive him, hallelujah, into our lives, his forgiveness is ours, glory to God, hallelujah. We can't ever make up for our own sin or, or suffer enough for it, nor does God want us to. Romans 5 eight says that, but God commended his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, he died for us, hallelujah. Even though he knew that, that all would not surrender, even though he knew that there would be some atheists out there. He said, but for the remnant, glory to God, hallelujah. And I know that we all want to be a part of that remnant. Because of the remnant, he died for us, hallelujah, glory to God. So the question is, so, but, but, what, but what about when, when we struggle in an area and, and keep on sinning? Does God get so weary for giving us that, that at some point he just reaches limit and he don't forgive us anymore? Well, according to Scripture, according to uh, what Jesus asked about the disciples in Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22, he said, then, Peter, uh, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive them till seven times. And Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until thee seventy times seven. Now we're talking about God's unconditional love here, glory to God. He, he makes a way out of no way. He, he loved, his love never fails. He, we must focus, keep our focus on him. There is no other God like him. So the disciple Peter could not keep track of whether or not he had forgiven a person. I think he, he tried to count up to a certain amount of numbers, but the point is, is that look what Jesus is saying that we should always forgive. We must we must always follow him, glory to God, hallelujah. So we give him praise. He does not have a limit in our sin. He died for every one of our sins, the, those we've committed and those that we will continue to commit, the past, the present, and the future sins. We need to look, we, get, we need to begin looking at our sin the way that God looks at them. This is what Jesus says in the Bible in 1 John 1, 9, and everybody knows this familiar scripture. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then 1 John 2, 1 and 2 says, My little children, these things write out unto you, that you sin not. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteousness, and he is the propitiation of our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the entire world, the whole world. And then Michael seven nineteen says, He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all of our sins into the depths of the sea, glory to God. And then Isaiah 43, 25 says, I even I am, have he blotted out thy transgression for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sin, glory to God. That's the word of God. Now let's, now let's just pause here for a minute before we go into prayer. Last, last week, if you remember, we asked before we went into prayer that if there was anyone that you could think of that you had not for forgiven, that you would acknowledge that person and that you would ask for forgiveness. And I pray to God that those who may be listening now and those who, who tuned in later, that they have uh, prayed and, and asked that individual they had not forgiven to forgive them. These matters are very important. So this we are seeking God for the person who we know that continues to willingly walk into sin. They know that they are sinning, but they have not confessed that thing to God, or they may have confessed with their mouth, but their heart is far from it, speaking the truth to God. They are trapped in a web of Satan, glory to God, or the demonic forces, and they are crying, they're crying out for help, 
but 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 they but they they're 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 not they they they're crying out, but they don't really know they're crying out. But we can help them. You can help them. All of us can help them by calling their names often to God. Glory to God, because God loves us all. God hears the prayers of the righteous man. Hallelujah. So it's so important for us to be real with God. And I remember this song. Somebody prayed for me. Had me. On their mind, they took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. And I remember as a child growing up, I can personally say that I knew that it was my grandmother who interceded in prayer for me. So I thank God today, glory to God. And I thank God that I know that God has given me the gift of intercession. I have such a deep passion to pray and to encourage others in Jesus' name. So we have to we have, we have to uh, be have a forgiving heart to earnestly forgive those who have hurt us, to earnestly forgive those who have disappointed us or those who have used us or we feel like we've been used and lied on us and just left us and tried to kill us and, and, and betray us. And I could just go on and on and on. And it's, it, it's time to pray so that we can be released from any chain that's trying to bind us, any chain that, that, we, that, that we know that we are not totally free, glory to God. So we got to know that whom the Son has set free, that they are free indeed, God, glory to God. And our passion must be the passion of Christ, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us pray glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we bless and honor your holy name on this day, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are a mighty God. We thank you, Almighty God, for, for your word that guides us, Father God, through all truth. Glory to God. We glorify and we magnify your name. You are the great Jehovah. Nothing, Almighty God, is too hard for you. Nothing, Almighty God, hallelujah, is impossible for you, O oh God. All power is in your hands. You are the mighty King. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You speak, O oh God, and things happen immediately, Lord God. You are the God that is more than enough, hallelujah. You are mighty and you are powerful, Lord God. You are in control of this universe, glory to God. Hallelujah. The more we get to know you, Lord God, the more we have that deep desire, oh God, to praise you, Lord God, to worship you because we know, God, that you deserve all of our praise. You deserve all of our glory, Lord God, because you've done so much for us, Lord God. You have no respect of person, Lord God. You love us all just the same, hallelujah. You are high above the throne, hallelujah. You are victorious, Lord God. You are magnificent. You you are our God, and we love you with our whole heart. Hallelujah. We thank you, Almighty God, for this subject that you've given us, Father God, a God who forgives God. Hallelujah. You are incredible. Hallelujah. Lord God, your love has no limits, Lord God. We continue, oh God, to, to um, feel for, we, you continue, Almighty God, to forgive us of our sins as far as the east is from the west. You blot out, out all of our transgressions, God, and you remember our sins no more. No more, God. You are mighty. Hallelujah. You are holy, Lord God. All we have to do, Almighty God, is to confess our sins. You are just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us, Almighty God, from all unrighteousness, Lord God. Thank you for your pain. Thank you for your suffering on our behalf, Lord God. Thank you, O oh God, for being obedient to your Father. Oh, we desire, Almighty God, to commune with you. We desire, O oh Lord God, to follow you, to follow your instructions, to know your word, O oh God, to be obedient to your word, Lord God, to be humble at your feet, Lord God. Oh, we pray today, Father God, for those who we know are willingly still continuing to walk in sin, Lord God. Some have accepted you in their lives as others have not, Lord God. We pray earnestly, Father God, for both, Father God, in the name of you, God. You have provided a way of escape for us, Lord God. So we pray for those who do not do, do not have that intimate relationship with you today, Lord God. They have their knowledge under you, Lord God. They know your word, Lord God. But, Father God, they quote your scriptures, Lord God. But, Father God, their hearts are far from it, Lord God, in the name of you, God. We cry out for them today, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, God. We intercede right now in prayer, Lord God, for those lost souls, oh God. We pray that their hearts will turn around, oh God, and have deep passion to, to do your will, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray, Almighty God, for all of us right now to see our sins as you see them, God. Sin causes separation from you, Lord God. You do not hear us when we willingly walk in sin, when we don't repent, Almighty God. You are a merciful God, hallelujah. You're, you have mercy on all of us, Lord God. All we have to do is come and confess, Father God, in the name of you, God. We cry out today, God, for those, Almighty God, who have not confessed their sin. We pray for those, who, Father God, who are not honest with themselves, oh, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Father God, for their hearts to be softened, Lord God, towards you. We know, God, that we must yield to you, Lord God. We must give, Father God, you, Father God, give us all of our new heart, Lord God, to truly love you and do your, your will, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. It's like we've been born again, God, when we turn our lives over to you. God, we 
pray, oh, Father God, for all to recognize your love, hallelujah, and your kindness towards every last one of us, Lord God. We know, God, that the world is changing. We know that people are changing, even changing the way they worship and praise you, Lord God. We know, God, that the signs of the times are here, Lord God. But we must, we must, be, we must, Almighty God, be serious about our relationship with you, Almighty God. It's time to stop playing in church, Lord God, and it's time for us to be for real with you, Lord God. We must worship you in spirit and in truth, hallelujah. And I will worship, Lord God. We must let our God down and empty ourselves, oh, hallelujah, before a mighty God allow you, oh, Lord God, in heaven to fill us, oh, God, Father God, beyond the brim of holiness, hallelujah. Glory to God. Let our worship, oh, mighty God, spill over, Father God, hallelujah. Father God, that others can see, Father God. Let it touch the lives of those who are struggling in their relationship with you, Lord God. Let our worship, oh, mighty God, to connect to those who desire to know you better, Lord God desire to reach the depth, the height to be in your presence, oh God. Let our worship God hit us like never before, Lord God, and that we will put ourselves into the power of the almighty God. Hallelujah. Oh God, let our worship, hallelujah, hit heaven in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, we say glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Let our worship, oh mighty God, be pleasing in your sight, God. Let our worship be from the depth of our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord God, your kindness is meant to lead us, Father God, to repentance, Lord God. We pray, God, for a hunger. We pray, oh, Lord God, for a desire for your word. Your word, God, Father God, gives us instruction and direction and guidance, Lord God. Your word counsels us, God. It corrects us and gives us knowledge and understanding and wisdom, Lord God. We know, Almighty oh, God, it's important not to just know your word, Lord God, but we must be doers of your word, God. We pray for a deep desire of your word, God. Study to show ourselves approved, Lord God. Read, Father God. Study. Allow your word, oh God, hallelujah, to penetrate through our hearts, souls, and minds in the name of Jesus, God. We know, hallelujah, that in the pardon of our sins, the Father God, that you are right there for us, Lord God, hallelujah. So we desire to be thirsty. We desire to be hungry, Lord God, for righteousness in the name of Jesus. In order to survive in this world today, Lord God, we know that we must give you our whole heart. We must put our total trust in you, Lord God. We must be dedicated to you. We must be loyal to you, Lord God. We know, God, that we must be trustworthy to you, Lord God. We must be dependable to you, God. We must be reliable, God. We must seek you, Almighty God, Father God, with our entirety, Lord God. We know that man cannot live by bread alone, Lord God, but from every word that comes from the mouth of you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, you would do surgery on our hearts right now, Lord God, as we're going through this, this season of forgiveness, Lord God. Your word is living in this and it's active and it's sharper than any two edged sword, Lord God. We pray for the consequence of our sins to become clear to us, Lord God. We know that we all have sinned before a mighty God. We cry out today for forgiveness like never before, Lord God. We cry out, Father God, for those who have not confessed their sin to you, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, for them to be surrounded by people who will speak truth into their lives, will speak life into their lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray on this day, God, that you will know and that you would recognize that only you can satisfy our deepest needs, God. We pray that the veil will be removed from our eyes, hallelujah, so that we can see and know how much you truly love us, how much, oh God, is what you've already done on the cross, Lord God. You have no respect to person, Lord God. Your desire, Almighty oh God, is that none of us will perish, Lord God. Oh, we pray, Father God, for all of us to repent before a mighty God, hallelujah. You are merciful, God. Your arms are stretched wide to receive every last one of us, Lord God, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Almighty oh God, we cry out today, God, for those who are lost today, Lord God. We pray for salvation in their lives, Lord God. We pray for witnesses, Father God, to come, Father God, to witness to them, Father God, hallelujah. As we see people on the street, God, that we will pray, Lord God. We will pray, Father God, for the lost. We will pray for the homeless, oh God. We will pray for the sick and the shut-in, Lord God. We will pray, Father God, for those, oh God, who do not know you, Lord God, hallelujah. We will pray for the atheists today in the name of Jesus, God, because you are mighty. There is no one like you, Lord God. Once we confess in you in our hearts and believe, all of our sins are forgiven. Hallelujah, Lord God. We desire for everyone all over this entire world to know the joy of your salvation, to know the peace, almighty God, that surpasses all understanding, to learn and know God, to just to, to be content in the state that we are in because you will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. We must learn, almighty God, to just yield to you, Lord God, 
the knowing that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So, hallelujah. That, Father God, you make a way out of nowhere, God. You love us unconditionally, whether we repent or not, because you have no hatred in your heart. Hallelujah. You are the great I am, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, almighty God, for this prayer today, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for your presence with us, God. Thank you that you know our hearts. We just desire, Almighty God, that we will know you in the pardon of our sins. We pray all will know you, O Lord God, that we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Nothing can harm us, O God. We are at peace, Almighty God, with this world, no matter what is going happening, by Father God, because we know, Almighty God, that you are in control, Lord God. You are in control of the government. You are in control, Father God, and you are the one that's in authority over all things. Nothing, O God can happen unless you allow it to happen, Lord God. Teach us, oh, man, God, that we must just pray and not say we must trust in you with all of our hearts and lean not unto our own understanding. We must acknowledge you, Almighty God, in all of our ways, glory to God. Thank you, Almighty God, for your unconditional love. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. Thank you for being our provider, our supplier, our banner, Lord God. Thank you for being the God that is more than enough. Hallelujah. Thank you that you are our healer. You are the Lord God, our shepherd. You are the righteous God. There is nobody like you, glory to God. We are so glad to know you, God. In the pun of God, and thank you for your mercy that endures forever, Lord God. We appreciate you, oh Lord God. You are our crown. You are our banner. You are El Shaddai, Lord God, and we thank you today, Lord God. And this is our prayer, Father God, for today. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, we pray. And our heart and our soul says amen and thank you, Jesus. God, we had a thousand tongues. We could never thank you enough. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. We bless his heart. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord God. Make your glory a time for the word of God and prayer. We just want to thank and, and thank you and, and just want you to know that we appreciate you for just joining in with us, whether you called in or whether you may call back on our callback number. You can also listen to us on iTunes or YouTube or Spreaker.com and tune in. Um, when Christians speak, talk, radio, your midday glow, we just have that deep desire to be a blessing upon God's people. We, 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 we are taking prayer requests, and we, we just thank God whether you submit them or not. We're going to continue to pray, but our email addresses are middayglory at gmail.com or whenchristianspeak.com. Uh, Hallelujah. We pray every Wednesday at 1 o'clock, spread the word about midday glory. Let a family member know, a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, maybe someone that's really going through and they just need a quick word, a quick prayer. Tell them about midday glory. Encourage them to dial in and receive the word from the Lord. I speak God's bountiful blessings on each and every one of you. Stay focused. Remain focused on God. We know that he loves us unconditionally. He will never change. He is a God who forgives, and we bless you all. We speak blessings over your life, and we will hear you on next week. Bye-bye.